we have definitely seen a decrease in overall sales. Nathan Doss says beer sales declined at Bevel Brewing in Bend. Now I can only speak for Bevel, but at the end of the day, you do see customers wanting other options, whether it's cocktails or non-alcoholic beer or gluten-free products. So I think all of those things do affect the overall demand for beer. Ben Edmonds, president of the Oregon Brewers Guild, believes years of rapid growth in the state's craft beverage industry came to an end during the pandemic when consumer patterns and preferences began to change. There are some actual headwinds in terms of consumption, in terms of com competition from uh, non-beer beverages, from the whether that be seltzers or ready-to-drink cocktails or uh, people abstaining altogether and going toward NA beer or just uh, non-alcoholic options. And then also just cost of doing business is up compared to what it was four or five years ago. Crooked Roots Brewing in Prineville shut down in September. A new owner quickly reopened it as the Patio Tap House. And just this month, Cascade Lakes Brewing shut down its flagship location on Century Drive after opening a new pub on Ben's east side. When you see breweries closing, selling, just going away, it, it is concerning. Nathan Doss says he's already added a light lager to Bevel's taps and may soon offer gluten-free products. In the meantime, he's counting on the always popular food trucks at his brewery, trivia nights and music nights to keep the locals coming back for more. Brooks Snavely, Central Oregon Daily News.